Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and today we continue with the series on the giant killer Danny Padilla. In today's interview with Danny Padilla, Danny shares his push-pull system as well as his off-season and competition approach to training. Danny also talks about training at Gold's Gym and training with Arnold as well as the tips that he learned from Arnold himself. I really enjoyed this interview with Danny and I know you will too. Alright, what I did back then as a kid, I've always done it for a hundred years, was a push-pull type system. I went by what the magazine said to do. Right. Back okay. then, you know, muscle builder pushed chest and back, yeah. shoulders and arms, and on the next, the third day, you did legs. And, then, and I stuck to that forever. I never changed it. And so you did that basically, uh, your three days, your three day split twice a week when you were young. Exactly. So I worked Monday Sweet. through Saturday. Awesome. For a hundred years, I did that for like thirty something years. Never missed a workout. Okay. Awesome. And as the body got better, you know, I was able to use more weights. So mm -hmm. by the time I did become good, I had a real thick, muscular body, and it was pretty balanced. Yeah. So, for my height, I was able to compete with the big guys. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, uh, I guess, uh, the limited footage that's online, with the photos, etc. Excellent. Um, uh, one question that I have from the three more reps now, which seems, which almost sounds conflicting. You've said that you basically never change your way of training, that you would do a push-pull of, for example, chest and back, arms and shoulders and, and legs, uh, and you do it twice a week. But uh, three more reps, and I'm not saying you're wrong. I mean, there's so many things written about bodybuilders by ghostwriters that it's difficult to know what is correct unless you actually hear it from the person directly. But in the book, it says that in the off-season, uh, later in your career, when you were already competing, you would only train three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Is that correct or is that... Never. That's bull. That's okay. incorrect. Okay. Instead, you would train... So it does say that you did do the push-pull uh, push method, chest and back, uh, calves and thighs, and arms and shoulders. But you're saying it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then repeat. Repeat. I did okay. six days a week for okay. 100 years. That's good. That's good and, to know. And the only, right? And the only time that would change a little bit, like if I was getting ready for a show, mm -hmm. I learned from Arnold where we would do chest back in the morning and legs at night. Yeah, that is actually written in three more reps, that you did that. Yeah, that I did. Too. Yeah. And, you know, and then there was other times where I would do chest in the morning and back at night yeah. when I lived in L.A. just to change it up, but it was all the same. Yeah. Yeah, I never, I, I, I used to just do it forever because my body was used to it. It was no big deal. And you know what the reality is? I adjusted the weights. In other words, I didn't squat 800 pounds twice a week. I would do like, let's say I could do a 405 squat for 20 reps. Yeah. I would do that. And then next time I would do 315 for four sets of 12. Yeah, I understand. You That's have... the only little bit of change I would make you, you... sometimes. And then off season, I trained light. I didn't care about. Yeah. You know, let's say let's say for a show I would do twenty sets. Well, off season I might do uh, four sets of each. I would only do bench, incline, fly, pull over, done. Yeah. I, Three I, four I... sets of each. Yeah. So I would kind of cut down the sets. Yeah. That's also. You know, now they would tell you it's overtraining. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's um, it's actually very similar to the information in three more reps, and at least that's correct. And how you vary intensity actually is not written, but that's very important to know. I actually do that myself. I have like a really heavy day, and then I'm repeating the body part later in the week, but I do go a little bit lighter, you know, and it makes a lot of sense. So that's also good to know. So as we have learned from Danny Padilla, he adopted the push-pull system throughout his entire training career, only changing exercises every now and then for variety. He would mainly train on a three-day split, six days a week during the off-season, training chest and back on Mondays and Thursdays, shoulders and arms Tuesdays and Fridays, and legs on Wednesdays and Saturdays, adjusting the weights in each workout, choosing to increase his intensity and go heavy earlier in the week, for example, and then later in the week, decreasing the intensity by using lighter weights. Sunday, of course, would be a rest day. As we also have learned from Danny, he would choose around 3-4 to four exercises per body part and only train up to 12 sets per body part during the off-season. 
Now here is Danny Padilla's training split during the off season where he would train each body part twice a week performing up to 12 sets per body part using three exercises per body part. Now what did Danny Padilla specifically learn from Arnold? Well, when it came to competition, Arnold taught Danny Padilla to increase his sets for all body parts, as well as to train each body part up to three times a week. Therefore, his schedule would change training on a two-day split, performed three days a week, as follows. On day one, being a Monday, he would train chest and back in the morning, then legs in the afternoon. On day two, being a Tuesday, he would train shoulders and arms, and he would then repeat day one on Wednesday and Friday, and repeat day two on Thursdays and Saturdays, resting Sundays. He would perform four to five exercises per body part, and up to 20 sets per body part in total. The idea, of course, of increasing the frequency of training, increasing the number of sets and reps, that is the volume, and decreasing the rest time, between sets and between exercises was to induce a cardiovascular style workout to burn fat and get ripped for competition, which was the reason why such high volume, high frequency workouts were performed by the golden era champs such as Arnold and Danny. So although I haven't broken down the particular routine that Danny used, his complete split in this video, in the next video I will be breaking down Danny's 3 day split and we will be also looking at Danny's favorite exercises for training for each body part, as well as later in this series his nutritional approach to bodybuilding and much much more. So I do hope you have enjoyed this next segment of interviews with Danny Padilla. That's it from me, hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Danny Padilla's bodybuilding programs, he produced four booklets, which I am now selling through my website as eBooks through my collaboration, of course, with Danny, including plan to win my system for successful bodybuilding, as well as chest and back shoulders and arms and legs and abdominals, which tend to be more specialization courses. These booklets are filled with awesome knowledge from one of the bodybuilding greats, with my personal favorite being Plan to Win. This booklet is awesome. Now these four booklets are some of the most honest booklets I have ever read, because in these booklets Danny teaches you the importance of goal setting, and describes the important differences between what makes a novice, intermediate and advanced bodybuilder, and what it takes to get there. All available at www.goldenerabookroom.com. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.